Hi, so I'm at Tolman Motorsport today and I thought it was a great chance to take you around the Talbot Sunbeam Lotus that I drove recently that these guys have put together. So without further ado, let's have a quick look round. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? So this is a car that's been owned and commissioned by a guy called Phil Shaw, who owns his own sheet metal place. And he has got, I think, six or seven Sunbeams which he's done various things with. Um, I think you can probably see a couple of them through the window here, even, there you go. Um, so some completely standard, beautiful ones there. Um, but this car, he always grew up um, liking world rallying and, um, and wanted something similar. So this car has been built to group two specification, but with a bit of a twist, really. He wanted to use it on track days. So rather than flying through Grasdale Forest, he wanted to use it on track days and kind of unite the kind of past and the present. So while it's to group two specification, um, it's got lots of kind of modern touches to it, like sequential transmission, um, traction control, launch control. So it's got, instead of cable throttle, it's got fly-by-wire throttle uh, and, and all sorts of magic on it, really. It's a wonderful thing. So group two specification, what that means is back in the day, they made a thousand examples, um, or they had to make a thousand examples of these cars to compete. Ultimately, Talbo made 2,308 of them. And, um, and 40 years ago, they won the manufacturer's championship. And they also won Rally GP in, in 1980. So this was a standard road shell, but they converted it to, to group two specification. Um, which means you know they used all the original suspension pickup points. If we just have a look under the bonnet as well. Um, they don't cut any of the body shell, but they were allowed to do things like make metalwork adjustments for things like the fuel tank and bits and pieces. Now this engine, you can see this, the the uh, pickup points there as well. So they've got different top mounts, but but the pickup points are are the same. So this engine is an original type. 911 2.2 litre with the twin cam Lotus head, but it's got a few choice mods on it. So the original rally cars made 250 brake. This makes 265. So it's got things like um, coil on plug ignition there rather than the um, distributor. It's got throttle bodies. It's got eight injectors, this ITG air filter here. And it's also got a crank sensor. And, and what that does is just give them very, um, you know, and a Motec ECU actually as well to fine tune all that and the crank sensor as well to um, just so they can fine tune the, the um, fuel delivery and, and get it absolutely spot on to optimize the power. So it doesn't sound like masses and masses of power 265 but this car weighs only 950 kilos and it's got a Drent sequential transmission so six speed really short ratios as well so um, that, that really kind of intensifies and amplifies the power delivery here this down gently so I don't smash the there we go right let's have another bit of a look around so the dampers are nitron let's just adjust that nitron three-way um, adjustable suspension and under there you can see under the wheels behind the wheels we've got AP racing brakes they're aluminium bells floating hubs and they're to GT3 specification so really serious things um, 15 inch wheels with um, Pirelli P7 tires so you can probably see how aggressive here, this tread pattern is so really sticky kind of like a cup two but but more so really there um, group two cars also got a, a different rear axle so Salisbury rear axle the 4HA and I don't know if we can just look under here you can see there you go you can see that you can see how perfect it is under here this car and also that works back on uh, uh, axle and are they the damper reservoirs as well I can't really see right down here I think they are it's just a damper reservoirs there yeah nitron um, yeah so beautiful so let's um, and also I forgot to show you here as well look at this all these um, oil tanks and so on screen wash all neatly packaged away so it's been it's not just a, you know it's not just a competition car it's also a beautifully presented car as well so these perspex glass here and carbon fiber door cards and these Tolman do stuff for McLaren so Tolman if you haven't heard of them they do all sorts of stuff they do um, they do restoration they're doing Peugeot 205s as well they, they're the leading restor restorer of um, 
the original Lotus Elite, but they've also developed McLaren race cars and they did the GT4 570S with, with McLaren. And this is actually a door handle from there, so that, that uh, ties those two things up. It's got an AP Racing pedal box and the attention to detail here is absolutely fabulous. We've got this uh, original Lotus insignia and the and the Talbo insignia as well on these uh, carbon shelled bucket seats. Uh, the roll cage as well, beautifully integrated and you can see just behind the A pillars there, it's really nicely tucked away. So when you're driving it, it's, it's not intrusive at all. And also in here, you can see very clearly that Drenth um, gear lever. So you use the clutch and the lever to select first and it really kind of engages with a, with a thunk and then from then on you're using these paddles here as well so let me just take this off for a second hopefully i won't get in trouble for that and put that there and you can see that race spec steering wheel the dashboard as well digital dash and this um all the functions on there including your wipers and, and there's a bit of a dance of pressing buttons and so on to get this thing started and um yeah and also look the adjustable um pedal box for for brake bias so whether you want it front to rear um i better just put that on because i would hate to uh, leave that off so if we jump inside so yeah i was lucky enough to drive this car at um at hethel so these cars the body shells were produced at linwood up in scotland and um and then transported down to to lotus for, for finishing um including the engine and and, and everything so um, yeah, they made 2,308 of them there, as I, as I think I said, and I was very really looking to take it back and to drive it on the, on the test track. And um, I've driven an original one before, and obviously there are elements of this that you can feel like the engine, the sound of the engine, the, the basic dimensions, but really this is a huge leap, as, you, as you'd imagine it would be really, with, with this kind of spec and, and this kind of seriousness. So. Yeah, the en the engine's absolutely fabulous. It's it's it fizzes with energy all the time, um, and it would be great anyway, even with a manual transmission. But we've got this um, Drenth lever here and the paddle shifts, so um, really short gears, really tightly really tightly stacked. So you know, even though we've got two hundred and sixty five brake horsepower, it just fires through those ratios, and it just keeps coming as well. The Nitron three way dampers, um, they're brilliant. They they it's there's a little bit of roll, not much at all. Um, but when you attack curbs and stuff, you just realise how competent they are and how capable they are at soaking up bumps. So the car stays really planted and, and secure as you're kind of dancing over, over curbs. Turns in really, really nicely, really bites, but it still feels rear biased. So these tyres are really sticky and, and grippy, um, but you always feel that rear bias. And, and if you want, you can push through that and it absolutely um, still feels rear wheel drive. And, and once the tyres slip, and this engine starts to rev. It's just like being back on a rally stage, really. So it's an amazing bit of kit, and of all the Sunbeam Lotuses out there, I'm sure there are many special ones, but this is no doubt the most special of all, and um, yeah, a real privilege, a real privilege to drive it. So. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, thanks again for all your likes and um, please do give me a subscribe. I'll be um, doing plenty more of this stuff. Car Magazine reviews as well, um, out on new car tests and, um, and classic stuff like this as well. I've also got my, my old Porsche 996, which I hope you've seen um, as well. And uh, maybe something new coming as well soon. So, um, so yeah, keep tuned, give me a subscribe if you can. And thanks for watching, catch you later. Thanks a lot.